young boy and a young girl who start the first job at this mysterious firm called JW Wells. And they have no idea what the company does, but they're happy to be employed and happy to be off the streets and working. And as they peel back the layers of this company, they find out that, that they're this ancient organization that's been curating magic and coincidence the world over for centuries. And they're thrown into this grand adventure to basically save the world and become who they're meant to be. It's very much set in contemporary London, but we do have this corporation which is run by goblins and wizard pro-production. That sort of opened the doors to us introducing a lot of different styles, the different genres, a lot of different periods to try and elevate the vision and the, the aesthetic behind what is J.W. Wells & Co. Jeffrey has grown up on a film set. It's so brief, but it looked great. He just goes and goes and goes. He's super duper organized oh. and enthusiastic about everything. But three, two, one, and it all has to sort of happen. I think you guys are trying to He can it. help facilitate the process more effectively than any director I've ever seen. He's always willing to talk to not only actors, but anyone from any department about their ideas on stuff. As a lot of directors actually think, well, you're an actor, you should know what to do, and I'm not going to tell you anything. But he's happy to tell you stuff, which is always helpful. Well, Christoph, whilst joining our cast, changed you know, the course of this project. You know, without his enthusiasm and his passion for it, you know, the film wouldn't have got made. Christoph Waltz was a dream come true. We just wanted someone with extreme presence on screen. What could be more fun than playing Dennis? I did pitch him the role as a shape-shifting goblin stuck in middle management. I definitely haven't seen him in a role like that. And it's the naughtiest I've ever seen him on set. I don't really know anybody who's more well cast as a goblin. Or might just be a goblin. Because a goblin is all those things that all of us are really naughty. That bully, greedy. It's, it's all the end, really, isn't yeah. it? Sam was just in this goblin thing, walking around, just loving it. Everyone at Henson fell in love with the idea of bringing these books to life and making it be a very special film that will stand together with Dark Crystal, Labyrinth and all the wonderful projects from Hanson.